Hi everyone, this is Sheikh Muhammad. Welcome to Tecla Modeling. Uh, let's, let's take uh, our se second series. First, first two one or our topics are included in our model. For next three, four, five, six are just optional. I'm just uh, going to draw and explain you how we can draw these things. Okay. First thing is pad footing. I'm just mentioning you uh, only a pad footing not grouting anchoring rods or bolting like that and second one is vertical bracing i'm just placing bracings how to place bracings in a in perfect manner in next class i'm gonna teach you connections in that there's a vast subject in the in connections so i'm going to teach you later uh, next four one are optional and these were not included in our project, but I'm going to teach you. Okay, let's go to topic. First topic, first topic is pad footing. Let's go to topic. Just open software. Just open the three model software, uh, which I uploaded a, uh, yesterday. So, if you haven't seen this model before. I'll give you a link in description so go to that link and see that video this is the continuation of that so let's move to the topic control i control i get views plan at elevation zero okay if you haven't got this just Make sure that depth up and depth down should be three inch, three, th sorry, three feet, three feet. Modify, modify, that's it. Apply OK, it will apply for everything. Even for 3D? No. OK. Where is, uh, yeah. go to concrete. Pad footing, self pad footing. Just click on here. Expand it. Okay. I'm going to modify this one. Before modifying this, let me take side by side so it might be visible for you. And so bash the sound device on 70 so I'm I'm gonna take 40 by 40, 40 into 40 okay and when coming to position the top position uh, the top position is almost one inch six because my this column this column bottom height is uh, bottom height bottom bottom is one feet six inch so the bottom is uh, zero. I'm gonna take this pad for it. Just modify it. Modify. Sorry. Take this one. Modify. You got this right. Yeah. Yeah. And this. Do this. Same for all. Take this one. Apply, okay, and that's it. Let's move to the next topic. The next topic is, is vertical bracings. Let's go. Open 3D model. Just close this one. And open this one. Control I. I'm taking first phase of this so. view of la grid one or line one on line one okay how to create a vertical columns vertical bracings uh, somewhat uh, 
go to edit transaction line and line click here and here what is this Points in position, click on here. So I'm going to get and just to be right click and move special linear. I'm going to move it in Z direction. So Z direction one minute before moving this. Let me take parallel to this. So, transition line point, this point, and that. So, move me linear and in y direction. I'm going to move it in a Five two feet six inch move. Yeah. We count background so so that you are going to get a midpoint, okay. midpoint of columns and beams, and take transition line line. Select a midpoint here, midpoint, and drag downward to this. Yeah. What do you want? Midpoint. Yeah. Got that. This is the midpoint. Got it. Now, go to steel beam double click on that. Bracings? No. Bracing is a uh, W6 to 1D. Okay. Apply, okay. The reason why I'm taking from here is
Uh, just see this. Uh, this is somewhat uh, away from the center. So double click on this position, middle, and this not behind this middle. Okay. And another one is the column should be oriented. That means this point top or back. Okay. Modify. Like this one, copy sources, user, and then copy. Yeah, got it. Uh, if you think uh, it's gonna match in beam. <laughs> Hide this one, hide this, okay. Hide. Do this, hide. Okay. And now go to edit. About uh, three meters. Three point five. So. Yeah, for this. Direction minus three seven copy. Yeah. And select this one. Want to orient it so copy paste it. We get orientation mark for this. Okay. I think it's about this point to orient and that one meter forty five. Yeah. Got it. Let me extend this one. Should come up to here. This edit and now go to scale and consider beam. Just change this one to W4. Cutting and only value for cutting. Apply. From here, not getting exact here, I'm getting exact. So, Now we want to get a 
Thank you.